focus on the breath, and also focus on the mind. Keep an eye on the mind to make sure it stays with the breath. It doesn't go slipping off after other things. Because sometimes other thoughts will come in and take you away. Years back they had an article in National Geographic on zombie animals, where little parasites would get into a larger animal and then basically redirect its nervous system for their own purposes. And the same thing happens in the mind. A lot of thoughts come into the mind that it's like they have no intention for your well-being, or they have a very limited idea of what your well-being might be, but they take over your nervous system and they direct you for their purposes. So you've got to watch out. As John Lee says, just because a thought comes in the mind doesn't mean it's yours. It might be somebody else's. After all, you've got all those worms and germs in your bio biomass. Maybe they have some thoughts about what they'd like. And, and they're near you and they get into your nervous system, and all of a sudden you're thinking like them. Or there may be spirits hanging around, beings that have some old karma with you, and sometimes the karma is good and they want to be protective, and other times it's not so good and they want to get their revenge. So just because a thought comes into your mind doesn't mean it's yours. You note that it's there, but you just let it go. What matters is your decision right now what to do with different thoughts. When you're meditating, everything that has to do with anything but the breath is outside the pale. What you don't want, you want something. All the thoughts you want are thoughts that are directed toward the breath, keeping the mind with the breath. Those are your thoughts right now because they're in your own best interest. So it's random thoughts come in the mind. Try to catch them as quickly as possible, because even if you start weaving them a little bit, okay, it becomes part of your present karma. But the important thing is you learn how to stop them if they're not skillful. The quicker the better, but the fact that you can do it at all is good. You show some restraint. And when you constrain, restrain your mind here, then you learn how to restrain it in other areas as well. You can learn how to say no to the mind when some other random animal comes in and takes over. You don't want to be a zombie. You want to be clear and alert, because that's the only way you're going to see what's for your own best interest and be able to follow through with it. This is why I spend so much time developing mindfulness and, and alertness as we practice. So we can keep our well-being in mind, our genuine well-being in mind, and we're alert to whatever can be done in the present moment to make that well-being become a reality. <laughs>